enjoying this. Top of the morning, middle of the bottom of the afternoon. What's up, you guys? It's your girl, Fresh. And I'm back with another video. I'm eating a mento while I'm waiting for my lunch. Oh, my God. Anyway, so I have Kimani here again. And I'm going to let her talk to y'all about the CCHC. Hey, guess what? <laughs> we twinning today. <laughs> She's nuts. We twinning today. Kimani, why we got to do this all the time? You can be close to me. Guys, she's going to tell you what she can about the CCHG because she's taking it. I haven't taken it yet. I'm still studying for it, but I haven't taken it. But I'm going to tell you guys what I know, and then I'm going to let her confirm or correct and then tell you guys what she knows. So from what I know, people have told me things like um, know the water room, definitely know the water room that there are different variations of the test. So even if I took the test and I can tell you guys some things, you know, your version of the test might be different from my version of the test. And um, so we could just give you little highlights and things like that. But Davida gives you the study material to study from a practice test and you can practice with that. But at the same time, there's also a book that they gave us in our training that we are to review and read and go over. But are you ready, friend? Oh, so she's gonna make me talk. Hmm. So you wanna know if it's hard? What you wanna know? If it's hard, what to expect, is it time, how many questions, um, um, is the study material that the company gives us, is it like closely related is it like really good study material to use mm, that's that's a tough one with that okay so to me they can't see you i mean to, they can but to me it was harder than she's been mm. here eight years okay. sorry to say okay that. so i did pass it on the first time the ccac is set up like all scenario so they may write a paragraph and say miss saunders she's 66 years old she's been on dialysis this amount of time blah 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 now once you get to the point you fully know everything on the treatment floor, your CCAC, it'll just start coming to you. All answers will come to you. It'll make sense to you because you know how you actually would respond to situations on the treatment floor. A lot of the answers are notify the charge nurse and things like that. Um, difficulty level, I, was, I would put it like in the middle. Five out of ten? Yeah, but it depends on your test taking skills and if you're a person that has a lot of test anxiety. Okay. Um, I actually liked it. I, I really want to tell you, it might almost be two. I'm going to say between 150 and 200 questions. I cannot remember how long they gave me. They might have gave me three hours to do it. Okay. It's expensive. It costs about 275 for the exam. So you need to pass it. If you fail it, you can take it again. But if you fail that again, they're going to make you wait another two weeks. You fail it again, they'll make you wait some months. If you don't have that thing passed within 18 months, they possibly will terminate your treatment, but if they really want to work with you, they'll actually try to help you. Terminate you, not your treatment. Oh, my bad. <laughs> you, know, you know, terminate your appointment. <laughs> but, I mean, but if you're a good test taker and you feel like you got everything down pretty much on the floor, I feel like you'll be okay. Um, I will tell you one thing. I had studied so much on the dietitian stuff and I lied to you not. I went to take that whole test and I swear it might have only been five questions asking me about stuff with diet stuff. No, probably no more than 10, but you're talking about that's out of 200 questions. Mostly everything is basically almost like reading a case study, which pretty much is all scenario and how you will respond to it. It may ask you stuff like, what could be going on if the venous pressure is high? And it may be A, B, C, D, and you choose which one. Um, I remember they asked me this crazy question about what was the secondary backup to checking the conductivity and pH? And I think at that time we was using Phoenix meters. So that was like the second way of checking conductivity because the machine checks its own too. Um, of course, you need to know your ranges and stuff, but you should make sure you know as much as you can about the water. And mostly when it comes to the ranges of conductivity and pH and some of the electrolytes that's in the dial, I'll say what's the purpose of bicarb, what happens when you don't have bicarb? I mean, you know, they ask stuff like that, stuff that you should that you should know. It's like the basic stuff of dialysis, but it's pretty much all scenario. 
And yes, if you need an extra dietitian questions, ask questions about what foods is high in potassium, high in phosphorus, things like that. They'll ask you maybe what will happen if a person's potassium get too high. Now, when they start getting specific, when I feel like you really need to know, is when they when they use those words that mean like um, high potassium. What is it? Hyper hypokalemia. Okay. They start that. using words like that. Or oh, asphyxiation and stuff. You need to make sure you know some of those words too. Pay attention in your star learning class, basically. Mm -hmm. Make sure you know what anemia mean. Because I'm trying to think if there's anything that really stumped me on the test because I took it in 2013. But for the most part, scenario and know everything on the on the floor. And have a good understanding of your diet foods that fall into the renal diet. And have a good basic understanding of the water room. So that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Oh, you're so sweet. Look at you, Kimani. Ooh. And get enough rest. Yes. And be hydrated because they might not let you get nothing to drink. They ain't going to give you no break. Mm. So. Can you take any material, anything in there? Mm-mm. Okay. You'd be lucky if they let you even take a bag. They probably gonna, they might make you put it in a locker. So no cell phone either? Mm-mm. Okay. They might just give you a pencil and possibly give you a so sheet this of paper. Is, this is like the state test where you go to a location and you do the whole put your stuff in a locker or leave it in a car. You got to mm -hmm. you bring your ID. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah. that type. Okay, so. Oh, Kimani, you did so good. You want a hug? Oh, I need my water. That's so disrespectful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you guys. Thanks, Kimani. Bye. Bye.